Now let's look at the different uh, FX graphs for uh, ductile, brittle and polymeric materials. Now FX means force extension graphs. So for ductile materials, you will notice it will have a clear straight line followed by a clear curve. Uh, for, whereas for brittle material, it will have a clear straight line with little or no curve. Whereas polymeric material, because there are so many different types, um, so as long as you don't get the clear straight line and curve for ductile or clear straight line for brittle, then all other shapes you can always call it polymeric. Now there's another thing you want to talk about, uh, are FX graphs and uh, stress strain graphs uh, the same? Now obviously they're not the same because uh, force is not the same as stress, extension is not the same as strain, but they have some similarities. If you think about a force extension graph, all right, and a stress strain graph, how are they uh, related? Now remember for stress, uh, the, the formula for stress is uh, force per unit cross-sectional area, whereas your strain is uh, extension ratio or extension uh, to change in length. So, but we will assume that uh, for uh, your graphs, the cross-sectional area change is very small, so we can assume it's constant. Uh, and of course, original length is constant. So therefore, you do see that uh, since these two are constant, so F versus X or stress versus strain would actually be proportional. So they will have the same shape. All right. So if they give you FX graph or stress strain graphs, they should have the same shape. But of course, they will have different values.